and we are live. Good morning. Happy Sunday to everyone. Um, today we are doing ceviche. We're doing Mexican ceviche and we're doing the gringo style ceviche. I'm also going to teach you how to make agua fresca um, de Jamaica. So uh, today I'm going to try, try to get it down in, in, in uh, one hour or less. Joe, hi, my number one fan. How are you, honey? Thank you for your donation. You're just a all around good guy and I just thank you so much. So um, let's see. Got to get all my handy dandy tools. Okay. okay. So let me not try to pretend that I can't see. I'll put my glasses on. Caitlin, Caitlin, uh, welcome. Caitlin McGarry, welcome to the show. Angel, uh, oh, there we go. Soul food. Zen cooking with Angel Macias, because when you're cooking, it has to be Zen, okay? It has to be relaxing, it has to be enjoyable and fun. Ceci, hi, good morning, sweetheart. Renee, hi, Renee. My little production crew of one. <laughs> she gave me all kinds of tips on what to do. Your mouth is watering already, Joe? Mmm. You're gonna like the gringo. You're gonna like the gringo um, ceviche because I hate to admit it, but that's the one that everybody likes the most, the gringo ceviche, so go figure. Okay, so um, I got myself, well, I didn't get myself. Uh, I had a, a wonderful person gift me this little mic. Can you guys hear me better than, than the other times? I hope so. I don't know if you could hear me better or not, but uh, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start. Uh-oh, I got an unwelcome visitor. I mean, unplanned visitor. <laughs> Wash my hands. I had done that already, but you know, you never, you never know what people would think. Hi, Jesse, my sous chef. How are you? Where's my, where's my, where's my girlfriend? You know, I'm gonna be your mama. <laughs> Marissa, where are you? Are you tuning in? Henry Rogers. Hi, Henry. Congratulations. So you have a beautiful baby. Well, you have a couple beautiful babies, but congratulations. I miss you. I miss you. I miss all the fun we used to have messing around. You know where. That didn't sound right. Sorry, wifey. Not, not that kind of messing around. Hi, Jesse. So we're going to do ceviche. You all ready? Let me go ahead and light my, my incense. You guys think I'm playing, but I, I really, I have rituals in my house. Polo, hi Polo. You ready for some good yummy stuff? I don't play. For me, this is an, an, a ritual actually. Um, Oh, is it Nada Lee or Nada Lee? Welcome, however you pronounce it. Welcome to Soul Food, Zen Cooking with Angel. I have some, some exciting, exciting news and I can't wait to, to share it with you all. Um, Howard, hi Howard. Where's my girl at? Where's Candace? She's gonna make you cook, huh? That's what she has you watching. Congratulations, congratulations on your anniversary. Um, I love the two of you. I love you individually, but I love the two of you. Okay, so um, so I said welcome and thank you for, for joining us today. It's Sunday, it's a holiday weekend. It's kind of weird and strange that we're not out there. Well, some, some people are, some people are not <clears throat> uh, out there enjoying the, the nice weather. Whatever you choose to do, like I told you before, Whatever you choose to do, I am not going to, to bash anyone. I'm going to respect everybody's decision as long as you're not hurting anyone intentionally or you're not using racism as a, as a means to promote whatever it is you're promoting. Hi, Jules. 
Oh, yeah. It's so yummy and refreshing. And you can eat, I mean, if you want to eat a, a one cheeseburger or half a cheeseburger, uh, I think this probably this whole bowl will equal one double double cheeseburger. You could have this much ceviche or a cheeseburger with chili. <laughs> okay. Today's inspiration. So, you know, I shuffle these already and whatever comes up next, I just take the one from the top and put it on the bottom. Hi, Sandra. How you doing? So today I'm going to read the one that's on the top and it says, I turn every experience into an opportunity. We need that right now. All of us need that. How about both? Hmm. How about both? Okay. That could be your dessert. <laughs> that could be your appetizer. <laughs> I love you. Each problem has a solution. All experiences are opportunities for me to learn and grow. I am safe. See, now this keeps me from losing my mind. And you know, ooh, this, mmm. Okay, so this is gonna go all the way on the bottom so you don't think that I choose them according to what I think. And look what my baby girl bought me. She brought me a, a salt Himalayan, this chingadera right here. And it lights up and it's white. It matches my decor. Or like Renee says, it matches my decorum. Okay, um, let's see what else do we have introduce the dishes I introduced them we have gringo ceviche and Mexican ceviche and we're gonna do a um, Mexican a traditional Mexican drink that's Jamaica agua fresca you I know I love these cards they just you know whenever you're feeling anxious or whatever they just keep you on track you know keep you focused or get you refocus okay um, ingredients so the ingredients for this is um, avocado limes Jalapenos. These are not spicy, so I guess they're, they just add a little bit of crunch and color. Tomatoes, garlic, cucumbers. This, these were huge. I don't know where, what farm these came from, but I had to cut them in half because they couldn't fit in my little bowl. And um, cilantro, salt and pepper. And for the gringo one, we're going to use some clamato. Hola Silvia, ¿cómo estás? Hola corazón. Now Silvia's children, mm, and I bet you she is too. They're amazing uh, cooks and chefs. So you got to order from, look at her page and look at the empanadas that they're, um, that they're selling and the crepes. So delicious. I had the empanadas. I haven't had the crepes, but they look so yummy. You guys see my, my, um, my apron? Wine Angel. Who knew that having a a little cooking class, Renee calls it a cooking show, having a little cooking class every Sunday was going to be so um, beneficial. I got, I'm getting all these little gifts that people want me to show off on, uh, on, um, on live uh, Facebook. Hi, Angel. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Thank you for all your cooking shows, <laughs> cooking shows, yeah. <laughs> and inspiring us all. Aw. With my... I think I read the rest. I get shy. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim Cravey. I'm not wearing the, uh, the, the Long Beach PD apron today. I'm wearing the Wine Angel because I'm going to showcase anything you guys send me. I'm going to wear it and I'm going to showcase it. So thank you to, um, to whoever sent me this beautiful apron. It, it would help if you put a name. Nice shirt. Oh, right. Uh, um, so this is a shirt that... Um, my mentee, Ruth, gave me. So it has like, she knows I like like the Dia de los Muertos. So she gave me this. And then um, we have the uh, Soul Food Zen Cooking with Angel on the back. Okay. Aw. You love me, Jesse. I love you too. I love you all. I just love people because I'm all people. Okay, so we washed the hands, disinfected everything. So let's get cooking. Let me get my, my scrimps out. Up 
put all this stuff over here because um, I ordered a lot. The reason I ordered a lot is because I know that my, my daughters and the people who are going to enjoy this meal today are going to love it. So, um, you have to wash everything. I wash everything anyway because you never know. But um, you wash them. I'm going to wash them again just so you see, okay? Because I don't want you to be saying, sure, she says she washes stuff, but who knows? I just washed the scrimps. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some, um, some cooked, I'm gonna make cooked ceviche. Hi Jackie, how are you sweetie? How's mama, how's Vero, how's everybody? Hey, you need you need a lot of big bowls and all this other stuff all these gadgets so the shrimp cook really fast okay shrimp cook really fast so let's let's uh let's put those on there anyway because um remember i told you you always cook what takes longer first but we're gonna need to cut these we're gonna need to let these cool and we're gonna need to cut these so um Let's get them cooking. And while that's cooking, <clears throat> my coffee. <sighs> Gotta have the cafecito. I, I wanna thank the contributors. People have been really responsive to this um, cooking class, cooking show, whatever you choose to call it. It's not a show yet because, you know, I have to have all these sponsors and stuff like that. So um, my contributors are, number one, I'm going to name Joe, Joe Harding. Joe Harding is just such a supporter. You're, you're amazing, Joe, and thank you so much for just, um, for adopting me, just for, for you know, holding on to me and, uh, and just supporting my crazy dreams and, and everything I do in the community. Um, thank you for your contribution got a surprise for you. Look what I made you. you know, I was telling you, I bought this cricket machine and I'm like addicted. Well, I don't want to say addicted. Kim said, never say you're addicted to something because that's a negative thing. Booyah. This is for you, honey. It's for you. You're going to have, you're going to get to take your little wine, pour your little wine in there. It has a little cover so you don't get no bugs in it when you go to the park or to the beach or to your friend's house and they want to sip on it. You want the lipstick getting all on you when you sip it back. <laughs> it's just kidding. So this is for you, honey. Thank you for your $200 donation. I love you so much. I'm going to package this all pretty full and you're going to get this uh, today. Okay. Moscow Mule. Perfect, perfect, because it, it, it stays cold. I don't know for how long, but that's what they said. Let's try to believe it. Jennifer Clark. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome. Okay, let's see. Oh, um, South Flores, thank you for, for having me on your show, uh, Long Beach Homeless Living. It was so much fun. I love the food from La Paro... Paro I'm not even going to try to... 
Parochia. Rodolfo, oh, hi Rodolfo, welcome. Okay, um, Eddie Villanueva, thank you for your contribution. Lisa Shoemaker, thank you for your contribution. Um, State Farm has pledged, one, one agent has pledged $500, but she wants to get other um, agents to pledge and she wants to do at least $2,000, which is, yay! The more, the, the, more the, the merrier, the, the more contributions we get, the more um, items and um, safer at home, personal hygiene kits and food baskets we could uh, take out to the, uh, to the seniors and to those who are disabled and cannot leave their homes. Okay, we're taking care of our community. Um, Long Beach Cap. Long Beach Cap reached out to us. Thank you, Marissa, for um, trusting us and trusting that we're going to do the right thing with that money, with the, with, um, the food, with um, the gift cards for, for the food. We will do the right thing. We'll send your reports, whatever it is. Lupe Macias. Hi, cousin. Welcome to the show. Look at your prima. She thinks she's all that now. Okay. Um, Sarah and Robert Friedman, thank you for your $500 donation, your ongoing support. We love you. We couldn't do what we do if it wasn't for amazing members as yourselves. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, my girl, man, I miss her so much. The Jenny Rivera Enterprises, thank you for the $5,000 donation. You, Rosie, you're, you're keeping your sister's legacy alive. And again, tr thank you for trusting uh, myself and California Families in Focus. Thank you for trusting that we're going to do the right thing with those $5,000. I know you gave us $5,000, gave us another $5,000. So I'm thanking you twice for both donations. The, uh, that money is going for single mothers that are um, infected, affected by, uh, by the, the COVID situation. So thank you so much, we appreciate you. And we look forward to ongoing partnerships um, within other, other um, programs, projects, and events that we're doing. So thank you. I thank everybody. I hope I didn't forget anyone. If I did, just send me a little message, don't worry. Um, so um, today, the, all the funding that you get, I'm going to repeat it, all, all the funding that you give, that we get, is going to, for us to buy a safer at home, love baskets or love backpacks. And um, we take all the, the necessary precautions to, to package all these uh, personal hygiene kits, these, these food baskets, these gift cards, and we deliver them to the people who are homebound and can't leave their homes. So please trust that, that we're doing the right thing with um, all of your contributions. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in my... in my um, shrimp. And for Renee, it's two teaspoons, okay, of salt. I'll put a little bit of pepper because I like to I like to flavor things. I don't know about you guys, but I like flavor in my food. Sher Hi Sherry. I miss you, sweetheart. How are you doing? How how are the, the I, I can't even say kids anymore because they're just grown adults already. Okay, so keep an eye on your keep an eye on your shrimp. So let's start cooking. Okay, so what you're gonna do first is I'm gonna cut. Um, everything is all washed already, so I'm gonna cut. I'm start cutting the the vegetables. Get you a really sharp knife, Sherry. Hi, Angel. Uh, Sherry was one of my my mentors um, when I was when I was doing the Little Sisters mentoring program. When I was coordinating, I need to learn how to speak right. When I was coordinating the Little Sisters mentoring program. And she was such a wonderful mentor. You know, there's certain people that, that just join stuff to join stuff. This is what we were talking about last Sunday. There's, there's people who join stuff to just get their name out there or to be recognized. And, you know, they deserve, they deserve the opportunity too. But then there's people like Sherry that, that show up and they go above and beyond. You know, if we're going to host a class, 
she, she would always ask, what can I bring? Um, can I make something? Or, you know, they would just show up with stuff. I miss those days. Now, Little Sisters was a, a mentoring program for pregnant and parenting teens. And nobody, nobody in their right mind wanted to take on such a population because, um, you know, there was, there was a, lot of, a lot of issues that the mentors were going to have to deal with because they're pregnant for a reason and they're teenagers. So um, we knew that. We knew that there was multiple issues that we were going to have to talk about. And the mentors that I, that I got every year were just phenomenal. So Sherry, thank you. Thank you for, for, have, for everything that, that you did, for, for wanting to be a mentor, for wanting to share, wanting to share um, you, your knowledge and everything. And um, you know, I'm pretty sure your, your mentee or your mentees appreciate it because some of our mentors came back for, year, for many years. They didn't only do the one year mentoring, they came back for, for more years. So I, I appreciate everything you all did. So um, the, the gringo ceviche, and the Mexican ceviche, they, they both have tomato and uh, cilantro and avocado and all that stuff. But the only, the only difference is that um, the, the Mexican ceviche, which, which they, don't, they, don't cook the, um, they don't cook the shrimp, but I do. So if you, uh, if you want the authentic ceviche, don't cook the shrimp. Just, just have the raw shrimp. Thank you for the program. I have you years and oh yeah oh yeah Cynthia Watts hi Cynthia I'm making ceviche I'm making gringo ceviche and I'm making Mexican ceviche like I was saying earlier the funny thing is that most people like the gringo ceviche better than the Mexican ceviche Oh, you have tears in your eyes. Tears. That's, that's, I, I got you, Sherry. I got you. <laughs> Thank you for everything you did. I know that um, mentoring. So, which, which is what I wanted to talk about today. So, it was perfect that you joined. I wanted to talk about finding your, your, last, last Sunday was about uh, finding your purpose. And, you know, this today is um, your passion. What is your passion? What is it that you're passionate about? And of course, passion and purpose go hand in hand. Hi, Sh Hi Charmaine. But uh, yeah, what is it that you're passionate about? And just do it. You know, just just because you're locked up doesn't, uh, or not, not locked up, but uh, you're indoors doesn't mean that, that you still can't pursue your passion or find you a new passion, you know? Find a new passion. And... Um, See what else you're good at. Like I said, I never knew I was going to be so good at this cricket thing. And it's not a cricket, that, that little critter that jumps around or the one in the Disney movie. It's a, a cricket machine. Mine is mint green and it's beautiful. How are my scrimps doing? They're doing good. I don't have them on high, so... Okay, so while while the um, while the shrimp are cooking, I'm um, chopping all of my. Hi, Kimberly Flowers. Hi, beautiful yourself. Thank you for my for my um, for my perfume. <laughs> Just kidding. It smells good. It smells so good, girl. Um, Kimberly gave me a perfume that is the same perfume that I gave my grandma. Every time I go to Mexico, I, I buy my grandma stuff she won't buy for herself. So I took a really nice perfume to her and some like gold earrings and stuff. And this perfume is like totally her. Every time she wore it, I just, I would just get near her and just sniff her up and the day that my um, grandma was was in the hospital and I was really worried, Kimberly came to pick up her food and she brought that same perfume. And it was just amazing how, how 
those two things came together. As soon as I smelled that perfume, I was transported back to my grandma's arms. So thank you, Kimberly. Thank you for that. You never know what the universe can do for you, you know? You never know who's taking care of you. You never know what souls that are no longer here physically are still here spiritually. Antonio Avelar, hola primo, como estas? I love how my family is, is like connecting. Connecting with the show. The show. You guys got me saying show already. Okay, we'll make it a, the angel soul cook, soul food, zen cooking show. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, when you cut, when you chop your, um, your vegetables, make sure you, you're cutting them, make sure they look pretty. Okay, don't be cutting big old pieces of tomato and big old pieces of onion and stuff. Just make sure that you're making like even, um, even little dices, little squares, because your presentation really does say a lot about your passion or lack thereof of cooking. I'm not saying that it won't taste delicious. I'm just saying that, you know, it says a lot about you. So I'm going to cut all of the vegetables. Hi, Maria. Maria Davalos. How you doing, girl? Okay. I'm a, I taught my daughters too. You know, when, when they're chopping anything, when they're cutting things, they have to have pride. Just like Baby Angel. If Baby Angel's watching, she can vouch for, for this. When, she, when the girls used to do their homework, I used to have to check it all the time. And if they did a horrible job, if they, if they were writing, if they did a sloppy job, I would make them do it all over again. Because that's the same, you know. Pretend, I would tell them, pretend that that's your resume, that you're, that you're going after a job and you're turning in a resume. When you turn in that stuff, I thought so. So go back to your room and redo that and show me that you have some pride. Hi, James Swasso, my community leader, partner, um, all of that stuff. We're making ceviche. It's going to get pretty hot, y'all. So you're not going to want to be in the kitchen. You're not going to be wanting to fry stuff or, or bake stuff. You're not even going to want to look at in your kitchen. So I'm teaching you how to make some refreshing ceviche. It's refreshing. It's healthy. And it's yummy. So again, when you're cutting, when you're chopping your, your vegetables, oh, I love you too. I miss you and I love you too. When you're chopping your vegetables or your fruit, make sure that it looks pretty. Make sure that it's all like the same or the, close to the same or even cut evenly. Same squares. Hmm. Renee's awfully quiet today. Renee, am I doing good? I'm not, I'm not uh, messing things up today. You know, Renee's always checking on me. She's always checking me. So I must be doing things right. You just made some Friday, Cynthia? Oh man, I'm, this is something that is, it's, I'm gonna say it again. It's, it, it could be addicting, you know? He told me not to say those words, but it could, uh, you're just going to want to eat it all the time. I like to put garlic. I like to put garlic in everything. Garlic is, uh, is really good for you. It's really healthy for you. It kills germs. Helps you heal. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? Another one of my mentees. We have my mentors and my mentees. Woo, my worlds are colliding on this cooking show. I love it. I love it. How's everybody doing, Elizabeth? Angie, Angela, another one of my mentees, but also 
my um, CFO. See, that's what we do with in CFF. We turn our mentees into um, leaders, and we teach them how to run and manage a, a nonprofit because somebody's going to have to take over when this body gets too tired or too old or too crazy and just wants to go and do something else. Like I said, my mission and my goal is for me to hire, to be able to hire um, executive director and for me to be the founder. I just want to be the founder. I want to be the person who makes all the connections and who brings in the money. Okay. I'll bring you the money and tell you yes, no, maybe so. Because I still want to have some say in what, what gets done in, um, in the California Families in Focus. You're doing good, Elizabeth? I'm doing good. I'm here um, staying indoors, taking care of my mommy. And we're staying safe. We're staying healthy. And um, that doesn't mean that I'm still not out there doing stuff, you know. I mean, I'm doing stuff. I'm just not out there. I, I have my little crew, my team doing all that. Okay, so you're going to want to put some garlic in it, but you're going to want to chop this fine, very, very fine, so that um, it just incorporates well in, in the, um, with the other vegetables and you don't get big pieces of garlic. Okay, so just chop, chop, and chop. Take it off of your knife. Keep doing that. Keep repeating. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm going to try to make keep these under an hour, but this is Zen cooking. Zen means you don't rush. I'm not going to be that. What is that Ramsey guy that just goes and yells at you and, and tells you that you're a piece of crap and you're not doing things right? <laughs> Me and him would have issues. He would be a little too close to me, and I know where everything is in the kitchen. So yeah, Mr. Ramsey, I don't, uh, I don't know about all that yelling at people and stuff. Well, opposites, opposites. Okay, okay. Let me. Now again, the the garlic is sticky, so you're gonna want to keep washing your hands. Keep washing your hands anyway. We're just rinsing them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's sticky. How are my scrimps doing? Okay. They look good. Ooh, they look good. They look like I could just eat them just like this. Let me see. Can I, can you guys see this? Ooh, ooh. Okay. So I'm going to want to take them off the heat because if you overcook shrimp, they're like rubbery and um, you don't want that. You don't want rubbery shrimp, okay? So they don't take a long time to cook. I'm going to take all the, um, the water out of them. Now you could keep the water if you want to make a Mexican shrimp cocktail. We use the, the water that we cook the, uh, the shrimp in. But I'm not doing that today. Okay, so you want these to cool before you start um, cutting them. So I'll let them cool for a bit while I keep um, cutting my. This is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the kitchen smells delicious. Okay. Oh, and look at my um, Rosie Gonzalez's mama made about um, four of these for us. So thank you, Rosie Gonzalez's mama. She was uh, one of Kim's police officer partners. Thank you so much. So her mama, um, she has her mama making these and doing stuff like this so that she keeps her, her memory sharp. And that's very, very um, good to do. 
How long did you cook the, the shrimp, the scrimps? Like 10 minutes? Yeah. When, when they start turning a little pink, you don't want them like really, really, um, really hard. Well, I don't know, I'm talking to, to Jules here. <laughs> okay, it's an inside joke for, your, for whoever doesn't know Jules. Hi, Vero. Hi, my soul sister. Okay, so now we're gonna cut the um, cucumber. And I got one of these cute little amazing peelers. Uh, it, it makes, it makes um, spaghetti, zucchini, and, and all that stuff. So get you one of these, okay? I, I might put all the links, all the links to, um, to all the things I'm using. No, 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 they have to sponsor me first. Such a sweet towel, right? There, they have. She, she made other ones like with grapes and all these, these little Mexican designs. Oh, before I, before I start doing that, you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start cooking. I'm gonna start making my, my uh, agua fresca de Jamaica. You're going, you're gonna come to my house. <laughs> I'll be people having people banging on the door. So this is Jamaica, and this is a hibiscus. Hibiscus water is so healthy for you, especially if you have like um, intestinal problems and it hydrates you. It, uh, it's good for diabetics. Uh, it's good for diabetics if you don't put the sugar I'm going to put. Uh, but you can, all, you can always do this and then add some stevia. Uh, okay, so the hibiscus flower is dry and it looks like that. I think you guys can see that. So we're gonna put, um, I put like four cups of water. And this, yeah, this, this is like four cups of uh, hibiscus flour. So you just add the hibiscus flour to the boiling water. You could get it from your filter or bottled water is okay too. Okay, so, um, you add your, your Jamaica to your boiling water and immediately the flowers start getting really soft and it's gonna start releasing this beautiful garnet, garnet, like a ruby, a ruby color. And, and the flavor is um, sour. It's sour, but it, it's sour and, and like um, tangy. So, um, Make you some of that. It's really refreshing and it, it quickly hydrates you like when, when uh, you're out working, working out or doing whatever. If uh, you're out in the, in the sun, that's a good drink to have. Just tastes good. Okay, so that's, that's boiling. Let me get back to my uh, peeling the cucumber. So I'm going to take this side and I'm going to... Peel the cucumber. Now again, you have to you have to make like a little flat a little flat area, and then you you put your flat side down so that the cucumber doesn't roll all over the place. Okay, then you carefully this thing is sharp as heck, so you carefully peel your cucumber. Oops. It's really sharp you guys look at look at how sharp this thing is so you got to watch your fingers your fingernails you don't want the nail to go into the ceviche okay so there's one and and you can use as, as much of uh as much of this as you want you know what whatever is your favorite um vegetable for me, it's avocado. I cannot have enough avocado and ceviche. So I'm gonna do two things with this with this cucumber. Um, and I learned this actually in Mexico. We went to Mexico with a group of like um, 12 women. Yeah, there was there was no cat fights or nothing like that. It was a beautiful, it was a beautiful beautiful time. Then we went with the uh, eight women. That seems to be the number. Hi, Miss Lore. How are you, sweetheart? 
You want to learn how to make some ceviche? Miss Lord took me to a Cambodian restaurant and the food was amazing. I love Cambodian food. I love Asian food, period. But that food was really delicious. Thank you, Miss Lore, for showing me your culture and sharing with me the stories and, and just you, who you are, where you came from, all your struggles. I am so, so super blessed that I got to, to meet you. Thanks to Renee, because Renee talks to, to a fly. Renee will talk to anyone. So thanks to Renee for connecting us. Okay, so here's your cucumber. You're going to cut it in half. Then you're going to cut it in half again. I'm trying to have you guys see. Then you're going to take out all the little semillitas. The seeds. I save this because I eat it. I eat this later. Or I put it in, um, in water to infuse the water to make it refreshing. Or you could put it under your eyes. If you've had a rough night, I'm not lying. And I'm not, uh, if you've had a rough night or if your eyes just need to rest, take this and just put it under your eyes or right on top of your eyes. And immediately you'll feel, um, you'll feel relief. Especially for them people that be having hangovers. Not naming any names. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Uh, I'm just kidding. We're going to kid around a lot. So, um, okay, this is, this is ready. This Jamaica water is ready. So you can put that on pause for a little bit. Let me take a little sip of my coffee. Hmm. I'm going to show you what to do with the um, Jamaica. So if you look, it's, it's really, really soft already. Hung over eyes, right? Okay, so you're gonna take a bowl. You're gonna take a bowl. You're gonna take a sifter, a coladera. This is a coladera, coladera. You're gonna put the coladera over the bowl. You're gonna grab your concoction here and carefully pour it. This will stain. And you will have a rough time trying to remove the stains, okay? So get all that good juice from it. Uh -oh. Get all that good juice. And while this is still hot, let me turn this off. Ooh, get a facial. Oh, God, it smells so good. Ah, coladera. Thank you, uh-huh. Coladera. So wh while this is still hot, what you're going to do is you're going to put, um, I'm going to put one whole cup of sugar. And the reason I'm putting one whole cup of sugar is because I'm making a Jamaica syrup. So when you make a, a Jamaica syrup, you make a super concentrated um, Jamaica syrup that you can put in, in a nice little bottle. And what you do is you put it in your fridge and as you need it, as you, as you want it, you could put a little bit in a cup, a little, a little of a, a bit of the syrup in a cup, and then you could add um, filtered water or bubbly water and it tastes so good. You can also add a little bit of vodka and some lemon make you a nice little drink actually we created a drink for dia de los muertos using this this jamaica syrup and it was called the katrina and it was really popular we um, served it at the gas lamp for one of our fundraisers and um, everybody liked it especially the gringos the gringos kept saying, give me one of them Katrinas. What is it, Katrina? Katrina. So a Katrina is um, part of this, part of this uh, Dia de los Muertos stuff. And the Katrina is a fancy lady. If you guys ever see the, the, um, the uh, caricature or the cartoon of the Katrina, she's the fancy, the fancy skull lady, all dressed up in her feathers and everything. 
You're trying your, your Espanol. Good. Oh, man. Ah, it smells really yummy, you guys. Okay. So. What we're going to do next is you can get these bottles at Ikea. And I love them because every time you present this too, when, you're, when you have your friends over and you serve um, juice or whatever it is in, in, these, um, in these bottles. Let me wash my hands. In these bottles, it looks really, really nice. Okay. So this is... Um, Agua, agua fresca de Jamaica, but we're making the syrup that you can use later. So you just use one of these um, measuring cups or, or any cup that has a little, a little tip, beak. What do you call it? Renee? Oh, is that, are you? Am I a Taurus? No, I'm an escorpion. Watch out now. We're little, but that's dang, man. We got a big stinger. I got a big stinger. Um, I'm, a, I'm a really good person until you mess with me. I'm pretty sure that's, that's the same for other people. Okay, so you, you get the idea. Put it in one of these nice bottles, but see, look at the color. Looks like blood. I, I told my grandson one, one year when he was little that, um, spout, Jesse. Thank you, sous chef. That's right. Renee, Jesse, help me. You're my soup chefs. Okay. That's really hot still, so I'm going to put that over there. And I'll finish that later. Oh, yeah. Like the itsy bitsy spider, huh? And up the water spout. Oh no, that's another type of spout. Okay. Back to this. Let me move all this stuff out of my way. Bring back my bowl. Okay, so what were we doing? We were cutting. You got me, boo? Mm. Bueno. Somebody, somebody's got to get me. Somebody's got to have me. Have my back. Okay, so again, we, we uh, are cutting the cucumber. You take take uh, the seeds. I wish you, I don't know, can you guys see like the, the cutting skills? You gotta, you gotta curl your fingers. You gotta make little slices, long ways of the, uh, the cucumber. Um, this is probably, what I enjoy the most is cutting up all the vegetables. It's so zen to me. You know, you just could just be here. You got to be present though, because if you're like cutting the stuff and then you're like, oh, you know, in day in the days and stuff, you might chop your fingers off. So be present. Just don't be in a hurry. You can see half of the cucumbers, because I only got half. I cut it in half. Okay, let's see. I don't know. All right, anyways, uh, you, you just cut them into these cute little, like, long, um, uh, little sticks. And then, watch your fingers. You're going to cut them evenly. Put them in your bowl. Watch your fingers. <laughs> you really enjoy eating the ceviche. Okay. All right. See, we need both. We need somebody to make the food and somebody to enjoy eating the food. I enjoy eating the ceviche too. It's so good. I mean, I could really have this like every day, especially when it's hot. You want something refreshing. And I like it really cold. I don't like hot ceviche. 
<laughs> All right. So now some people do not do not add cucumber. So that's okay too. Just uh, just remember that it's it's what you like. If you don't like cilantro, I'm gonna keep saying that over and over because I had some comments or some people texted me. You know, I don't like cilantro. What can I what can I substitute? Nothing. <laughs> just don't add it. Just omit it. I don't think. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you want to try basil. No, no, don't try basil. Don't try anything crazy. Just just omit it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like hot ceviche. James, hi James, welcome. I'm gonna say welcome to anybody who I don't recognize. I want you to come back because this is Zen cooking, soul food. Zen cooking with Angel. Okay, I have my little Zen music going on. When I'm having issues or whatever, you hear you hear the Mexican banda music. Music really does influence your mood. I don't care what people say. It influences the way you feel, the way you act, the way you look at things. It teaches people, it educates, it unites. I love music. I also like dancing. I like getting down. I love dancing with Renita. Where's my wifey? Is my, my wifey? My wifey on here? Jenna. Jenna, I've been checking out your videos. You're pretty funny. You are pretty funny, girl. So thank you for, for you know, making light of uh, the COVID situation. And thank you for posting your videos. Um, not stalking you. I'm just, you know, checking out to see who's checking me out. <laughs> so thank you for that. I, I love anybody with a good humor. I love good humor. It's soothing. It's therapeutic too. Laughter. Enjoy. Okay. So, all right. That is enough of that. Now we're going to do the, um, get these things. I didn't pick these from my garden. So avocado, we're going to cut the avocado. Oh yeah. Now this is how I like the avocado. I don't like them when they're all like, when they start getting all mushy and, um, brown. So you cut your avocado in half, then you, what, don't, make sure you don't get your fingers. You um, hit the um, seed with your knife. You take it out and you dump it in your, in your crash can. Now, I know people do stuff with avocado seeds too. Gotta use every part. Renee, what are you laughing at? What did I say? What did I do? What did I do? Oh, this. See? I don't like these stickers. Why do I gotta put them on all of them? Because the cashiers can't remember the code. Don't tell cashiers I said that. <laughs> Be looking at me dirty next time I go buy stuff. Be talking shit about us. Don't cuss Angel, it's Sunday. But see, look at, look at, these are different avocados. Not all avocados are the same. Look at this seed and look at this seed. Hmm. Avocados are wonderful. I would love to have an avocado tree, but I don't like the, the roots, the big old avocado roots. I mean, the roots from the avocado tree, they could, Uplift your whole. See, look at this one. It's more seed than avocado. I got cheated. I got cheated twice. Okay, like I said, I love, 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 love avocado. Oh, didn't pick, didn't pick them from my garden. No, I didn't pick them from my garden. I am gonna have a garden in Mexico, though. 
I have enough room to plant 10 trees if I want. Okay, so next what you're gonna do with your avocado is you're gonna um, score it. You're gonna make little, watch your fingers though. If you have a really sharp knife, it could go through the avocado and cut you. So you're just gonna uh, cut like little squares. Okay, so you cut vertical and then horizontal. Yeah, a lot of avocado. It's good for you too. Now this is an, another trick that my, um, my aunts taught me is that you can use avocado to soften in your skin, to soften your hair. Um, it's really good. They used to, they used to have these, um, these events where they would all get together and they would mix up the, these avocado masks and they would put their avocado masks, you know, this was back in the day. And let me tell you, these women still look good. Shit, I should have listened. That's what you get when you don't listen. They used to tell me, you have to take care of your skin, Angel. When you go out, you got to protect yourself. You got to use the sunscreen and use all organic. This is what they would say. All organic. If you can't eat it, if you, if you can't eat something, uh, don't put it on your face or on your skin because you have all these little pores. And um, Jenna, you're the expert on this. You have all these little pores, so whatever you put on your skin, it absorbs into your body. So they would say, do all natural. If you're gonna put, uh, if you want to soften your skin, do like the coconut oil or the olive oil or almond oil. Yeah, they used to use almond oil a lot. So um, yeah, they said, you know, you, you're using all these uh, cremas, all these uh, lotions and potions and stuff for your face, but who knows? what they're made of who made them for what purpose and what effects they're going to have on you so yeah if you can go all natural do all natural i um i i put on my skin uh, olive oil and coconut oil and vitamin e olive oil not saying that you guys like my skin i'm just saying that you know just in case you want to know what i put on my skin i haven't tried the Avocado mask, so maybe we should do that. Jules, Jules and Joe, do you guys want to have a, a little facial party? Yeah, we could do a facial and we could come up with all kinds of stuff and do a show, do a show. Oh, jojoba, yes, Ho that's what they use too. They use jojoba, I mean, all kinds of natural stuff. I mean, they weren't rich either, so it could have been a combination of we were not rich, we got the money to buy all those expensive cremas, or just uh, they really listened to my great grandma. My, my great grandma was a healer, and I'm gonna keep mentioning her all throughout these uh, cooking shows because she wasn't only an amazing cook, she was a healer, a natural born, bona fide healer, and she had so many people so many people that would come to her for any ailments that they had and they would leave satisfied if it comes with drinks <laughs> of course of course hello i already told you we could make some jamaica margaritas jamaica margaritas hello okay so jojoba yes that's what they used to use a lot in their skin too and in their hair that's right, Jesse. Duh, you're in the hair care business. The you have your salon. When are you gonna open anyway? Huh? When are you guys gonna be open? As soon as we can, huh? As soon as they allow us to. I don't know. We have to invent something. Because you're still gonna need to be safe. I'm not gonna want you. Look, I'm not gonna want you. I'm not gonna want you out there just without no protection and stuff. But. Uh, I have, I have an idea. I have a, a great idea and I think it should be mandatory. So let's talk later. Okay, so I've been scoring all of the, uh, the avocados. Who knows ASAP? Hi, Marissa. Hi, Corazon. I'm not gonna flirt, Jesse. I'm not. I have a lot of respect. Okay, so you take your, your scored avocados Ceviche, right? Scored avocados, and you just take your spoon 
and you just uh, do that to them. So they're already cut in little squares. Just, they're hard to get off your the little skin. I see ass. Okay. All right. There we go. Let's get all this yumminess. Just dig in there with your spoon. Make sure you get all of the avocado. Not only because it's yummy, because they're expensive. So you want to get all of that yummy stuff. Avocados are expensive, man. I remember having so much avocados at one house that I stayed at. I didn't know what to do with them. And now they're like, what? Almost $2 each? What the heck? I could have been slanging avocados. Slanging means selling. Okay, not only will I teach you Spanish, I'm going to teach you some hood lingual. And I'm going to also teach you when it's appropriate to use this hood lingual. You can't just be using it everywhere or anywhere. Might get beat up. Okay. Oh man, this Zen music is awesome. Oh, only nice people can flirt with your mama. That's right. You protect your mama, girl. It's like my, my daughter's protecting me. Woo wee. I got to tell you guys a little, a funny story of my oldest, Joanna. I don't know if you're watching Joanna, but, um, when, when I separated from, from my last male relationship, Joanna, my oldest daughter was so freaking protected. Slang. Mm -hmm. She was so, I mean, overprotective that, um, she, she just wanted to quiz everybody that came to to want to have a date with me. So for a long time, I didn't have any dates. You know, people would, would, uh, would show up and they wouldn't come back. And I was like, damn, what did I do? And then um, I found out that Joanna, while I was getting ready or whatever, pretending, you know, Joanna would go out to the living room and she would like, I mean, she would question them and she would threaten them and she would do all these crazy things. <laughs> She would do all these crazy things and she did it to, um, she did it to Kim. She, she did it to Kim. Well, she tried. So one day I come, um, I'm getting ready and I hear this commotion and I come outside from my room and, um, it's, uh, it's Joanna and it's Kim and Kim, Kim's holding her and Joanna's like, Ugh. she's going nuts. And Kim looks at me, she, she said, I don't know what's wrong with your daughter, but she got issues. So then we start talking and she, Joanna confessed that she did this to anybody who came and tried to have a date with me. So she scared a lot of people. Thank God, because I ended up with the perfect, with the perfect partner. Sounds like Jesse, <laughs> Jesse, Joanna. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, Mm. that one is a little spicy. So I'm just going to use a little bit. Jesse, how cute. Protect your mama, girl. We only got one mama, huh? <laughs> yep. We only got one mama, so we got to make sure. Believe me, if I could have protected my mama from my natural born dad. Oh. Sorry, my biological father. I would have. She would have never married him. And I don't care if he's watching. He knows. Oh, you know what? I forgot the onion. We're going to need some onion. Now, for this ceviche, I like to use the purple onion. It has a really good flavor. It's a little bit milder. Okay, so you see what I did to the chile, to the jalapeno? I took out the seeds and the ribs so that it's not, um, so that's not too spicy. Don't worry, Joe. I'm not gonna put any of this in your gringo, in your gringo ceviche. <laughs> I like to see your face. If uh. 
or when you get um, when you get chile on your tongue, when you get uh, I'm gonna wash them. I know you guys are say what's with all this washing. I'm just I just wash things. Okay. Now this is where you gotta be really careful too. And if you if you have gloves, if, if it's a really spicy pepper, and if you have some like uh, latex gloves or whatever, I suggest you use them because like I said last time, I have a <clears throat> friend who was cutting chile, and she touched parts of her body that were like, ow. No, it's not me, Joe. You know what you're thinking. It's my friend. Okay, so your, your chiles, you know, they have to be cut all kind of the same, long ways first. And then you just scooch them all together. And you curl your fingers and you're going to do a really, really fine dice. my favorite part I love um, I love the prep work I do and I love decorating the plates and I love plating the plates and I love decorating my serving area and my serving platters okay. I like entertaining period who's that Jose hi Jose <clears throat> oh yeah you're definitely not getting none, any of this in your ceviche Joe it hit me right in the back of the throat. Right in the back of my throat. Okay, so let me do this. Let me put this to the side because, see these cute little chingaderas I got? I'm really investing in this cooking class. Look at this, little chingaderas. Lochingaderas are when you have a little bit of something you want to use later. Joanna, were you listening to the story that I told about you um, protecting me from all the people that came to date me? And then when Kim get, came to date me, you try to rough her up, but she didn't, she didn't get scared and she stayed. You were protecting me, huh? You don't want nobody dating your mama because I was your mama. So we have to get you and Jesse to, to meet and exchange some stories. Joanna's my oldest daughter. She's beautiful. They're all beautiful. They're all beautiful. Joanna has my, um, my honey colored eyes. I tried to lose her at a store one day and this, uh, this guy brought her back and he says, this your daughter? And I said, uh-uh. He says, that's your daughter. She looks exactly like you. You need to meet Joanna. Oh, she's so she's funny. She's a she's a trip, man. All right, let me see. I'll cut the other one just just because I'm gonna want a lot of spice. Joanna, hello. Are you shy? Say something, my love. Say hi to. Say hi to all of the guests that you have watching your mama's soul food cookie show. Still my mama. Always and forever, my love. Still going to be my little baby. My little girls. And Joanna is, um, do you want to tell them how old you are? I'm not going to tell them because I know I'll get beat up. Tell them how old you are. Tell Jesse how old you are. Jesse, this is Joanna. Joanna, this is Jesse. And Jesse's mama, Marissa, is watching also. She's a Puerto Rican. Boricua. I only got 10%, but that's that's I think I think that's that's in uh, what God said. I'm only gonna give Angel 10% because I don't know. I don't know if I could handle 100% Boricua from Angel. He also gave me 10% 
African American or African from the Congo. Joanna, hola everyone. <coughs> Woo! <coughs> ay, ay, ay. This Chile. <clears throat> Small dices, remember, you don't want somebody to get a big old piece of chile. Mm -hmm. Oh, Virginia Beach. Okay, you're in Virginia, Virginia Beach. That's right. Joanna, Forever 21. For Good girl. Good girl. So the Macias women have this saying, we're 21. Every year, it doesn't matter... Um, how old you are every year when they ask us how old we are we're 21 forever all right so let's get this chile over here because we got to speed this up i know i know i'm sorry i i didn't make it to uh under an hour because look i just like to take my time and and have the cheese man with all you guys. <laughs> what? Same age? Same age? We were pregnant at the same time, Marissa? You and me? You and I? <laughs> yep. Oh, you guys say you're, you're 21 forever too? You know? Hello? Okay, let's do the let's do the lime first. You guys know my dreaded the onion. Remember what I said about the limes? Roll them. Tu quieres tia? Vente, vente pues tia. All that jalapeno. Careful when you go to the bathroom. Right, Joanna. I was just telling that story about when my <clears throat> friend was cutting some jalapenos and she went to the bathroom and she touched some, par uh, you know, parts that uh, we won't mention and whew, it wasn't a good day for me. I mean, my friend. So you take your lime, place it on the board, um, just smash it down and roll it. Smash it down and roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. You want to bust up all the little juice capsules that this lime has and it works there's one one thing about ceviche is that it takes a lot of uh, lime a lot of lime juice or lemon juice okay oh that's right joanna you're going to have a birthday party pretty soon well birthday you have a virtual birthday party okay okay use your muscles Use your muscles right here, because you want all the juice. You do want a lot of lime. Well, oops. Then it gets all on your, oh man, that smell is delicious. It gets all on your, your hands. Okay. So let's cut the, um, where's my, where's my handy dandy? Oh, here you are. Okay. Now this is where I separate some of this, um, Ceviche. Get over there. I was going to do it raw, but I just can't bring myself to, to make the, the raw ceviche. You love lime. Yeah. Okay. So, look, just juice, just squirting all over the place. Okay, so you're gonna separate some of this, this, um, these vegetables for your Mexican ceviche and for your 
Gringo Ceviche. We'll just make a little bit of the Mexican ceviche because I'm telling you, ever since I started making this um, gringo ceviche, it became the most popular one. <coughs> <coughs> that chile is, is pretty hot. That's why I kept it in a little in a little container. Hi, Claudia. Look at I'm making ceviche. Okay. Stop messing around, Angel. Okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna put this lime and just squeeze, squeeze all of the lime, the, the juice out of the limes. Make sure you turn it this way so you get every, every last little bit. Usually when you make ceviche and it's, um, and it's raw, the the lime juice you just you just let the lime juice actually cook it it actually cooks the the shrimp so you don't have to boil it or anything it's just raw shrimp you just add a, a ton of lime juice and it and it cooks it so let, let me add the um Let me add the ceviche so that it could, I mean the, the shrimp so that it could start absorbing the lime immediately. Now, I, I know you guys have seen Mexican ceviche. It's like really, really tiny. Looks like it's almost uh, pureed, but you're gonna, just gonna chop the heck out of your little scrimps, okay? So just chop it into really tiny little pieces. This is my favorite um, dish when, when I'm in a, Puerto Vallarta, I love sitting by the beach, little beach chair with my cold beer and with my ceviche. I could eat this all day. And the girls, the girls, Renee, Renee, Renita, and the girls, they love the pescado sarandeado. If you guys haven't had pescado sarandeado, man, it's so delicious. It's um, grilled fish with this red chile sauce. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Nolan. I miss you too, my love. I love hearing you sing. I could hear you sing all day long. And as a matter of fact, I'm learning how to bring people on to the Facebook Live so that we could be, I could be cooking and you guys could be singing singing or, or or DJing and stuff so I've been doing a lot of uh, a lot of research and I've been asking uh, Renee to help me do a lot of research and to set things up where I could bring people on so we're gonna have to schedule like the next cooking show has to be scheduled and and, and I'll just tell you what time I'm bringing you on mm-hmm <laughs> Because you're just, your voice is just so beautiful. And who would have thought that such a cute little, cute little package could have such a powerful, powerful manly voice. I love it. I think you, you blew everybody away at the spirit of Christmas. I know Renee was crying. Renee was crying when she heard you sing. Long Beach Strong, baby. Yeah. We're stronger together. Hey man, that's been my motto since 1994. Cause we truly are stronger together. Not, not one organization can do it all. They need um, the support of businesses, of, uh, of the government, of the community itself, the school, the churches. Hi Bill, hi Bill Wade, how are you sweetie? Okay, so again, the Mexican ceviche is, is, <laughs> is raw fish or raw shrimp. Just minced, really, really, really fine. But um, I cook the shrimp. I cook it. I don't want to get anybody sick. So 
here here it is all nice and minced the tiny tiny little pieces i literally had chill bumps when you were saying yes in spanish see nolan i'm not lying renee was crying oh i rhymed it i get that from the cat in the hat dr seuss taught me how to read so let me tell you a story about dr seuss when i was five years old and i started kindergarten at Stoner Avenue Elementary. No, it's not Stoner because of that. That's the name of the street. So they named the school after the street, not after people getting high. And um, so, <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh yeah. So uh, I got I got bullied and I got made fun of a lot when when I started going to, to kindergarten because. My mama was poor. We were fresh, fresh from Mexico. We didn't have the fancy clothes or, or the shoes that other kids had, you know. So I went to school with torn clothes, with torn shoes. Hi, Kathy. What's up, Kat? Making some ceviche. <coughs> <coughs> so we went to school with, with these torn shoes and clothing and, and um. And we were poor, so we were made fun of. The, the kids, hi, Dusty. The kids, the kids were really cruel, you know? So um, I hated school. I hated going to school, and I hated, um, I hated people. People were mean. Kids were mean. And, and um, I used to get made fun of. So anyways... Um, I got made fun of because of my accent and because I didn't know how to speak English. So, uh, <laughs> what they named the street after? Joanna. Stop it. Um, <laughs> they named it after guys getting high? Guys. So anyways, I got made fun of because I didn't know how to speak English and I always went to the nurse and I always faked the stomach ache. Well, I, I really did feel like nervous and stuff and anxious because I knew people were going to bully me and make fun of me. So I would go to the nurse. I would say I was, my stomach hurt. Happy Sunday. Save me some food. Okay, Dusty. <laughs> so anyways, um, I went, I kept going to the nurse and then finally the nurse said, you're in here a lot, you know, um, what is the problem? In her little broken, in her little broken Spanish, and I just told her that the kids made fun, the kids made fun of me because I, I didn't, uh, I didn't speak English. So she made it a point to sit me down in the library, and I don't know if you guys remember back in the day they had these little um, cassette decks where you would hook them up to some headphones and you would follow along your book while you're listening to the story. So um, she allowed me to leave my class and to go to the library every day and I could not wait to go to the library to be by myself and and have my friend Dr. Seuss teach me how to read and how to speak English and I quickly quickly learned how to speak English because of Dr. Seuss and I loved all the rhymes and I think it, it, he he was a genius he was a genius because he really talked about life in his in his books you know now that i go back and i, I reread some of his stuff he was a freaking genius okay adam used to get bullied now he knows how to defend himself yeah plus he's uh seven feet tall i wouldn't mess with him hi maria how are you sweetie okay so the mexican mexican um <clears throat> Ceviche, I already put all the lime. There's so much lime juice in there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of lime juice. Now what what, uh, what can start happening is that the, the shrimp starts to marinate in all the delicious lime juice. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add the, uh, the onion next because the onion needs to marinate in all that deliciousness too. And those kids that made fun. Speak. 
Joe, I love you so much. Yeah, those kids that made fun of me speak only one language. Well, I, I don't know about that, but yeah, they, they only they spoke uh, English. And uh, yeah, I speak two, two languages, three languages, English, Spanish, and bullshit. Oh, no, no, no. Um, hood language, the ghetto language. Hi, Margarita. How are you, sweetie? Oh, I miss you so much. I haven't seen you in such a long time. The purple onions get, get, uh, they stain too, so be careful. Okay, I'm making ceviche. Oh, rinse the knife. Okay, I'm gonna rinse both. I'm gonna rinse the onion and I'm gonna rinse the knife. You know, we're, we're trying to come up with a way for me not to cry. Oh, I love you too, Margarita. I miss you, sweetheart. Okay. So I rinse the onion and I rinse the knife. Let's see if this works so I don't cry. Again, curl your fingers. And just cut... Um, Long ways. My mom doesn't cut it like this. She's just hardcore. She cuts it on her hand. I don't know how they could do that. She looks at me and she, she's like rookies. <laughs> so I told her today. If you freeze the onion a little while you, well, you'll cry less. Okay, chew gum. We tried that. No sirve. Okay, so let's see. I have all my onion here. I'm gonna try to do this as fast as possible so that I don't cry. Can you guys see the ugly crying face of Angel? Okay, and this also dice it really, really fine. Dice the onion really, really fine so that people don't get big old pieces of onion in their in their ceviche. Um, I know my friend Lisa, Lisa Shoemaker, she loves, 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 loves ceviche and so does uh, Heather. Okay. Okay, and this is so relaxing for me so relaxing tell us your your mom's story oh so so i told my mom mom i'm making ceviche for today's class and she's like oh yum i can't wait for that and then i'm gonna teach them how to make jamaica like agua fresca de jamaica she's like oh my god that's so hard and i looked at her and i go no it's not she goes I know, I was just being sarcastic. So it was hilarious because, you know, like I told you guys, she's, uh, she's starting to, um, to forget a lot of stuff. So when she's, when she's spunky like that, I love it. Oh, swimming goggles, hmm. Swimming goggles while I chop onions. That would be interesting. Okay, so. Finally, finally, finally chop your onion. And again, the, the purple onion just gives it more color. It makes it look so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna put some in the Mexican ceviche. And we're gonna put the rest in the gringo ceviche. gonna be so yummy <clears throat> okay now let me see the green the Mexican ceviche Ooh, smells good you're gonna add a little bit of salt okay Renee a half a teaspoon of salt to this much 
you add salt to taste. If it doesn't taste uh, like you added enough salt, then you could add some more. Renee wants me to measure everything and, you know, say it like that. Okay, that one. Oh, no, you know what it needs? Cilantro. Nothing like tasty ceviche. Que rico, right? What's the difference again between the ceviche? The oh, my goodness, Renee. Ay, Dios mío. Okay, so the gringo ceviche, the gringo ceviche is going to have clamato. The Mexican ceviche, they're like clamato. What the hell kind of stuff is that? They don't add clamato to their ceviche. It's just lemon juice. That's it. <clears throat> okay, so, but it actually, the clamato makes it taste really, really good. I know you can't have any because, you know, you being kosher and all that. That's a, that's a personal problem. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just, she takes her religion very seriously. So I'm just kidding, Renee. I'm just kidding, okay? It's religious. It's a religious thing. Yeah, clamato juice, uh, cl uh, clamato has clam juice, for seafood, and you can't eat uh, seafood except for fish with fins and scales. I had to learn that. I had to learn all that because, uh, you know, you want to please people's palates and respect their religion. You got to get with it. Okay, so. This much cilantro for the Mexican ceviche so I could put it aside and let it marinate in its own little lime juices. Be careful. Please, 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 please be present and please watch your fingers. Okay. Whatever's happening on, turn off the TV. Whatever's happening on the computer or you can't be looking at your Instagram post or your Facebook. You gotta be present. Plus it's nasty. There's so much germs in th those phones and stuff. You can't be touching it and coming back to, to cooking. Okay. Cilantro and... Cilantro just, I mean, I'm serious. People don't like it. And that's, that's, that's uh, their personal taste. But uh, I just love it. And I love how it makes everything pop. Makes everything look so pretty and, and taste uh, fresh, refreshing. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. I'm going to, I'm going to plate it and make it look really, really pretty for you guys, but I'm going to set it to the side again, just so that, that it marinates with all the, the lime juice Set it to the side. Then let's move on to the gringo ceviche. So the gringo ceviche has, um, imitation crab meat or real crab meat. You can use either, either or. Maybe I should take some, put some on the side because I don't know. Joe, can you have imitation crab meat? Joe. Maybe I should uh, separate some into a bowl. Okay, I'll use this big old bowl. We'll have crab meat and one won't. Wait. Let me just mix this up so we can get so we don't get too much avocado in one and too much tomato on another. There you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Joanna, you are right. So Kim used to Kim used to tell the girls, 
she used to, I'm going to say it, it's disgusting, but I'm going to say it. She used to look at the girls and they wouldn't shower sometimes. And Kim used to go and used to, to tell them straight out, you need to go take a shower because you marinating. You marinating. I can smell you from here. You can't smell yourself. So she used to make the girls crack up every time she said that. Just go over there and just go marinate. Okay, so, yes, and I can handle jalapeno too. Okay, so I'll put a little bit of jalapeno and put some on the side. Okay, so what we're going to do is, this will be the gringo, the one for the gringo ceviche. So this is what you do with the imitation crab meat. You just, uh, you just um, kind of like take it apart, you shred it. You shred it. Kind of like if you were um, if you were pulling apart like chicken pieces of chicken. Okay, so you just pull it apart, and you're gonna do this to however however ever much you want to put in there. It's really good when um, when it's mixed with all these vegetables. I never I never had crab meat. Uh, before so I just decided to add it one day long 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 time ago and and I would tell you the, the reason I, I added the imitation crab meat because it was cheaper and I had a lot of people to feed so I, I didn't it, the shrimp were really expensive and I didn't have like a lot of money to to feed all these people so I said hmm I wonder if I could use this. I wonder if this imitation crab meat would taste good mixed with my, my shrimp. And it's way cheaper than shrimp. I think these shrimp were like $8 a pound or something like that. So, and the, the imitation crab meat was like two, you know? So $2 a pound to $8. If you have a, lar a large, large family like I did and you're trying to feed a lot of people, Get you some imitation crab. <laughs> that's the that's the biggest bowl you ever seen. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the, no, no. I have a bigger one. I have a bigger one, but it's uh, it's stored somewhere. This is because I have you know I feed big families. That's why. You have big families. You gotta have big bowls. Bowls. I said bowls. Okay. Okay, so again, this is relaxing, you know, you're just sitting here, you're just mincing your, um, your crab meat, pulling it apart, thinking of what you're gonna make for dinner, or, you know, what other community project you're gonna get into. You thought it had to do with something else? Oh, imitation crab meat is kosher. Okay, thank you. Thank you for... Now I gotta separate that into four bowls. <laughs> okay, so one only crab, one only shrimp, one Mexican shrimp ceviche, and one with shrimp and crab. See? We got you. We got you. Oh, but not the clamato. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'll just put a little bit on a bowl and just add the lime juice. Okay. See? Gotta think on your feet, man. Think on your feet. Or like Kim would say, think on your feet. Think on your feet. Okay. All right. I'll do one more. No, I want more shrimp. I, I got a lot of shrimp, so... I don't need to use all that. Or the shrimp. Five bowls. Okay, so before, before I touch the shrimp again, I'm gonna wash my hands so I don't... Uh, so I don't get any of this shrimp juice in the imitation crab meat 
bowl and then I unkosherize, or is it decosherize, unkosherize? I don't know. So, all right, Renee, you can. I'll put them on the side for you since you gave me all these tips and helped me out. You deserve a little. That's enough. All right. Oh, man. See? It's hard being an all around chef. Okay. Now, these. Um, you don't have to you don't have to cut the shrimp really tiny for this one, okay? This can be like a, I'll show you right now. These shrimp are so pretty. They're so pretty. They're perfect. They're not too big, they're not too small, and they're cooked just right. They're not overcooked. So thank you for for asking how long. I, I do think it was just like 10 minutes. Because also because the temperature wasn't too hot. If it was really really hot and if the water was boiling, you you might you might probably just put them in there for for like five. I don't know, maybe a couple of minutes or five minutes max. Tina, hi Tina, welcome. Okay, we're making ceviche. And these shrimp are, are already deveined, which is what I like. I don't like the little, I don't like the little um, poop strip. I don't like the poop strip, so I like it when they're nice and clean. It's hard, it's, it's, it's really challenging to, to take it out. I know there's hacks, I've seen the hacks to, to devein, it's called deveining the shrimp. I think it should be called de-pooping the shrimp. You can could, you could just have these like this with a cocktail sauce, man. Look at, they're muy bonitos. I try, I try to to get you guys out of here in an hour. But the good thing about this is that you can you can stop it and you can view it later to get the whole recipe. You could go back on my Facebook and and get the entire recipe. You could fast forward once I post it. What's this? The sign in the stove. What's the sign in the stove? Oh, can you see that? Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. So my daughter came to look, came to visit me and she brought me her and, and uh, her girlfriend, Tiffany and her sister, Emily came and brought me a COVID, uh, a COVID care basket. I love it. I'm, I'm right when I'm done with this, I'll show you. Hola, Martin. Right when I'm done with this, I'll show you what's in it. I, I just thought it was hilarious and actually stuff that people need. So we got to we got to talk to those girls and see if how we can get them involved, <laughs> get them involved with the safer at home care packages so they could help us make them look like that. It takes time, but they could do it from from uh, from their home or from the office, you know. I don't know if you guys caught the um, the show um, that Sal Flores Sal Flores hosts. It's uh, Long Beach Home Plus Living is a Happy Hour with the Beaches. Um, Sal and Dan interviewed me, and we had Brian in the background just wearing crazy outfits and dancing and doing whatever he was doing. <laughs> it was hilarious. But they they interviewed me. They had me on the show. Hola, hola, Martin. They had me on the show, and and it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. But if you if you look at their at the show, it aired this uh, this Thursday. 
if you go back and you look at the show, you'll be able to see photos, photos and videos of the stuff, of the, the wonderful stuff that we do in the community. I'm gonna try to see, hmm, I'm gonna try to see if I could show a video while, while I'm doing the cooking show. I'm pretty sure you can, I just, I'm not tech savvy, so everything is hard for me. That's what she said. You guys are dirty, man. Dirty minds. Oh no, is that will that be? That's what he said. Brian was cracking cracking you up. And Aunt Sarah, Aunt Sarah was watching too. Oh Aunt Sarah. Aunt Sarah's our 97 year old um, CFF senior coordinator. She's she's our oldest member. Um, in age only. That woman, man, she's got more energy than all of us. 97. And she's tech savvy. I should have her come in and <laughs> come and teach me how to do things. Renee taught her how to, how to be tech savvy. Okay, so let's see. That's enough. So I'm going to save these for, for whoever orders later. So again, you guys, if you donate, if you donate um, $100 today, you will get this meal for two. Well, not this meal, because I'll make you your own meal, okay? I'll make you your own ceviche for two. <clears throat> and you can you can get um, a mask with the Zen, with the Zen. You can get this mask. So you could just put on your mask and not let things bother you, okay? We also have the, um, we can make you a CFF mask. This one was made by um, Juan Martinez. He's great at sewing. And if you, um, if you donate $200, you get your own personalized wine cup. Okay, so you're gonna get, uh, you, you get stuff. I don't like to just beg for money. Well, I, I like begging for money. But I don't like to just ask for money without giving something something back, something in return. So um, whatever you, with this money that you, that you donate to California Families in Focus is going to go right back to the community. $100, you get a mask. $200, you get your own personalized uh, wine cooler, wine tumbler. You could get different colors. You, you just tell me what, what your favorite color is. We have blue, we have uh, purple, we have uh, pink and, and all that stuff. This is, this is Joe's because Joe uh, donated $200. Thank you, Joe. You have your little, Zen, um, <clears throat> your little Zen wine mug. So you could just put some wine in there or like you said, Moscow mules and, you know, and be Zen-like. Okay, so you could donate at CF, California, um, cffocus at gmail.com or uh, go to PayPal and send a donation to cffocus at gmail.com. Renee, if you, could, if you could put that on the, um, on, uh, on the comment section because it's kind of hard to, to... <laughs> Joe said his bottle of wine is chilling, just waiting for that mug. Okay, sweetie, and I already disinfected it, and I um, I cleaned it for you, but, you know, once you get it, you clean it and you disinfect it again. Oh, no, you can just pour the alcohol straight, straight away because alcohol disinfects, right? So much better than the brown paper bag. <laughs> Donate through PayPal with cfocus at gmail.com. Thank you, Renee. Or you could... um. Or you could just uh, look for my for my link on Facebook and donate through um, Network for Good. Network for Good. It's on uh, it's a the platform that uh, Facebook uses, and they're really really good about giving us the money right right back. I mean, uh, as soon as you donate to well, also through PayPal, we get it automatically. But when you donate through uh, Network for Good. We get the money, I mean, really fast. Look look at all the juice. All the juice these limes have. Oh, okay, you guys. 
Don't get anxious. We're almost there. I'm going to start plating right after um, I, I add the... Uh, did I add some lemon to yours? No, huh? Did I add lemon to yours, Renee? No? Yeah, you didn't see. Yes, you did. You're watching every single thing I do. Okay. Now I have to wash my hands again because I just touched the... And then I have to take this lime and wash it because that didn't get it contaminated with the... Okay. See? Wash my hands. Wash the lime. Wash the knife. Get a new plate. You got to think about all these things. I gotta think about all these things because, you know, like I said, you wanna be respectful and you you want everybody to enjoy your, now I gotta wash this cause it was, hold on. Now I have to wash this because it touched the shrimp. Okay. Here we go. Just trying to please and appease all of my loyal friends. Look at that. All you need is one. Ooh. Okay. I do want her to try this because it's so yummy. And she's always helping me with everything. Everything I need and complain about. Right, so I don't think I added any salt to that. I might add a little bit. She can add some more when she gets it. A little bit of pepper. She can't have the clamato, so. I know, right? I hear you, Angel. You're doing too much. Let Renee go to Glot Market and get some ceviche from there. You guys know what Glot Market is? Well, that looks boring. Okay, put that to the side. I don't even want to look at it. Okay, so back to... I forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, this one's just for the... No, nah, man, she got her own. We got this. Guess what? I make a big old pot of a big old bowl of shrimp and crab meat ceviche. Okay, last lemon. I know, I know. Speed it up, Angel. I'm telling you, I could hear you. Yeah, I heard that too. make such a mess with this. I'm going to put a little bit, okay, only a little bit of chile and whoever wants more can, um, can request it. I'll put it on the side. Now put a teaspoon of salt. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just a little, a little less than a teaspoon. Teaspoon of pepper. Here comes the good part. You want some, Joe? You can watch me all day. Oh, of course. You used to do that when you were little. You just stare at me all the time. I would just catch you looking at me and just wonder, why did she, that little girl stare at me so much? I thought you were gonna try to kill me or something. You're planning on how to get rid of me. <laughs> Okay, here we go. 
Take your clamato. Now, we added the shrimp, we added the crab meat, we added tomato, we added the onion. Oh, guess what I forgot? Cilantro, come on, Angel. Get it together. You have to make sure you, you put all these things in there because it tastes better. <laughs> yeah, Jess. Jesse, did you used to watch your mom intently like that too when you were a little girl? I was like, what is up? Oh, my battery is running out. I better hurry up. Ay, ay, ay. See what happens? This never happened before. I'm just having too much fun. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Chop your cilantro. But uh, remember, I told you cilantro tastes different when you when you blend it or when you pu puree it. So make sure you you just like gently like you know push it on top of each other and and chop it. It does change the flavor. Okay, in you go. Okay. So now we're ready for the clamato. Sorry about that, guys. Let me take this off. <laughs> you thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world? Yes. I love it. I love your mama's stories. Okay, so take your clamato. This is the gringo ceviche, okay? Oh, actually, I think one's enough for this. I'll save this one for the other, for the other orders, because I got orders. I don't know if you all knew, but I got orders to make some some more ceviche for other people. Mm -hmm. Jesse, that's so adorable. I love it. Okay, so now you're going to stir gently because you don't want your avocado to get all uh, mushy. I'm going to keep using that word because I, I don't like mushy. Okay, so, oh man, it smells so good. That's what it's looking like. And then.